Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys, we are going to be diving down into the charts to take a look at what has been going on most recently with VeChain. We've seen a bit of a bump in the price. We are of course following the trends of Bitcoin and we're going to talk about, you know, where we think this is likely to go to and uh, what I actually expect to happen next. Now, as I get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so, you are going to be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right, with all of that said, done and out of the way, let's jump on down into the desktop and uh, take a look at what has been going on here with the price action of VET. Okay, guys, we're going to start with this hourly chart. Um, there's some interesting stuff going on here. Um, so I'm going to break this down a little bit, and then we're going to talk about what I expect to happen next. Now, um, for the most part, if we actually just zoom out a little bit, we can, of course, see that there were five waves coming up here. We had these three waves down, and then we were looking and tracking these additional five moves up. Now, obviously, this, um, in terms of earlier wave, is a five move, a three move, and now a five move. Okay, so it's a, three, a five, three, five, right? Um, and after this, we would expect an additional three waves to the downside and I'll go through what that looks like in a moment. Now this impulsive move up here uh, we had this really large overextended third wave and uh, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, effectively if I actually grab hold of uh, this move you can see that we went past the 1.618 we went past the 2.618 and we were heading towards and I actually think we hit this 3.618 right so this fourth wave correction right in here this actually looks like an expanding flat correction and um, if I just zoom on out we can actually reflect on what that looks like and um, here we have an A wave down we then had a B wave up higher and then we had a C wave go down than origin right this is expanding flat now this actually then means that we are tracking now nicely towards our fifth wave target this fifth wave target for V chain comes in at 5.4 cent um, and this is an area of resistance right up here as well and um, so we do know that this is going to be a high probability of reversal at that point in time okay so what we have is a stochastic RSI just down at the bottom here on our hourly chart that is heavily oversold I'm um, just coming out of this oversold area as we look to get some progress to the upside again we're following kind of the trend of bitcoin here bitcoin has a little bit higher to go and um, before it starts to see a reversal now when we jump up into these uh, larger time frames you can of course see that the four hourly chart is overbought right so we are looking for a correction to happen and um, once we kind of hit this fifth wave high and um, the eight hourly is also right up here in this overbought area and the daily is actually heading up there right now okay so we can expect to see some kind of reversal and again you know it could look like we had over here for example a small push up and then a pull back down now the weekly chart on this stochastic rsi is still in this oversold area loads of progress still to happen the fact that this is moving slowly on the weekly uh, chart is actually giving us good hope to think that we are going to be a nice slow grind to the upside and um, that basically effectively sets new all-time highs and um, within this move we are what we're not wanting to do here really is see a fast moving stochastic rsi where we make very little progress with the price um, and then we're up here in the overbought area looking for corrections down and um, so this is actually pretty encouraging on the weekly chart and um, in fact if i jump up to the monthly you can also see that is right in the ground as well so that's actually given us a lot of encouragement and um, the daily chart obviously i do expect corrections with along with the eight hourly the four hourly but right now we need to see this last little bit of a push to the upside get this fifth wave in and um, you know that's the point where we start to think about reversals and we start to think about corrective moves and um, so this impulsive move looks like it's going to be looking to come to a bit of completion and to finish this move up the upper end here at 5.4 cent now once that comes in um, if you're trading you know this might be an area that you want to pay attention to um, and you know what I expect to happen here afterwards would be an ABC move. Now the ABC move um, should be of note, right? So for example, at uh, the top of this fifth wave, um, and we dropped down what 10% here it was a very sizable um, ABC correction I would expect something similar to occur um, with this move now obviously we cannot guarantee any terms of percentage drops or anything like that uh, you know it might be more than 10% it might be less than 10% but we are expecting something um, you know notable that we can actually see a difference now I do want to highlight this area just here though and I'm going to just remove that and I'm going to expand this um, this box because this is an area that we've been kind of looking at for a while here um, previously now this was a kind of an area of um, consolidation and testing right so um, actually what I will do is I won't expand it what I will do is actually draw a fresh new one just on here so we grab a rectangle and what we're going to do is we're going to really focus in on 
this point just here okay and i'm going to just draw this up a little bit now here we have some wicks that have come into this area and this would be in an area of resistance and up here we also have some bodies of these as well now we blasted on through here there's a little bit of a test on this upper bound and then we started to move on up so if we're thinking about an abc corrective move and i think there's going to be a looking for you know an area of support we might have a bounce from here and we might actually come back down and retest this area of previous resistance and that we blasted on through but have actually come into correcting on so this actually might be a good testing point for us to find in this uh, this previous resistance as a support line um, and then this corrective move would take us I think across those uh, timelines from the overbought stochastic RSI down into an oversold stochastic RSI and that should be across the hourly the four hourly and the eight hourly and the daily um, and then getting consensus ready for the next move to the upside which I then would anticipate uh, would be another impulsive move um, taking us higher now um, this effectively would mean and would actually draw in if I actually just zoom this back out a little bit if we have this play out as I'm kind of articulating and expecting that would basically mean that we would have had five waves at the beginning a first set of three waves down followed by five waves followed by three waves in a corrective move that's what I think is going to come in the next few days and then that would be followed up by a five waves up higher that basically makes a five three five three five wave count now that's very important because that effectively makes up an entire impulsive move okay and which would effectively be um you know potentially even just one wave uh, on a larger time frame and um, so we want to see that kind of complete in in this way because it's a very neat way of kind of ending the cycle of this particular wave count so a 53535 five, is kind of what we're hoping to see here and um, one thing i'm confident on is an abc down what we want to do is avoid that impulsive move um, and prevent that from going you know uh, one two three four five down like we had seen previously over this side okay so here we had five waves up and we will follow this up with five large waves down we want to avoid that ideally what we want to do is we want to see these five waves up we see the three wave correction five waves up three wave correction five waves up okay and then look for you know maybe a slightly deeper abc correction um, and then reset this entire move again and keep repeating that process um, and that will allow us to see some kind of progress here on the chains chart um, and again this is something that we would have a look at let's say on the daily chart and we can acknowledge this quite clearly um, as all of this um, noise on the smaller time frame doesn't look overly too impressive here on the smaller time frame and if we actually do track this um, you know as a move of an ABC move for example we take that a wave, me a wave measurement uh, we take the B wave here and you can see that we are heading right up towards a one-to-one -one ratio now it looks like it's probably going to fall short on that um, but this is the daily chart we could quite easily just get that um, you know, taken out and we continue that motion but what we effectively would have here if I actually just bring this into view um, is an A wave up um, from here a B wave down and then a C wave higher okay a one-to-one -one ratio um, an ideal world we want to see that we go impulsive but I don't think we're anywhere near that just yet and um, so for VChain this is actually looking pretty encouraging to see some good kind of traction to the upside although I'm talking about um, expecting a correction to the downside and that correction should be short I don't think it's going to be anything too uh, amazing and I do think that we will be steadily working uh, you know to the upside but we have to be very mindful over current events and uh, you know if anything were to happen fundamentally that actually do, does change the direction of this right now um so we, we should be mindful that you know things can change pretty quickly in this crypto space i'm not expecting us to come down into new lower lows here or anything like that but it is possible if um, let's say you know, the governments want to regulate cryptocurrency in a negative light um with everything that's going on with russia and ukraine for example and um, so we are going to be you know optimistic at this point to say that it looks like we are tracking nicely to the upside the stochastic rsi on the larger time frames is indicating that the move does look like we have some pretty good traction to go um but we should be you know also very aware and cautious that um you know the real world events can sometimes actually have a negative impact on crypto a good example of that if i just come up into the weekly chart would be of course the covid um and the pandemic that happened back in march of 2020 we saw this as sto weekly stochastic rsi in an over um sold area we barely moved the needle up before pulling back down um and then you know we could actually started the bull run so it's possible that we have that kind of event what we don't want to do is drop down too low for v chain because it would effectively ruin the structure that's been forming here and um, but for right now i don't anticipate that to be happening it's just something that i think we should be aware of as a possibility 
Um, so guys, I am going to leave the video there. Uh, there isn't too much to really talk about VeChain right now. We're looking to kind of complete the smaller move to the upside. And then once that has come in, we are looking for an ABC correction down. Um, again, that could be another fantastic opportunity to re-enter the market. Now guys, if you have found this video useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you are going to be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.